Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to start with our first project that is Amazon S3 to Azure Blob pi data pipeline. First, we will try to understand the architecture data flow and then we will understand the business use case. What is the business requirement? Okay. And after that, we will do a project setup and followed by a practical. Okay. So let us try to understand the business requirement. Okay, so we have a data that is coming into Amazon S3 location from external resources. Suppose you have a web application, suppose you have a, any other device platform, from there your data is coming and getting stored into Amazon S3 location. So what actually we are going to do is like, we have a requirement where we have to move data from Amazon S3 location to a Azure Blob storage by creating a data factory pipeline. Okay. So what actually we will do, we will be having a Amazon S3 bucket, there the data will be stored. We will create a data factory pipeline and based on the schedule time, the data will get moved from Amazon S3 location to Azure Blob Storage. Okay. So this will be the agenda for this practical. In this video, now let us start with our practical and hands-on. Okay. So I have opened my AWS account. Once you will log into the AWS account, this will look like this. What actually we are going to do? First, we will create a S3 bucket. Okay. So you have to search S3 here in a search bar. Once you will click S3, you will get to see the S3 will get pop up. So you have to click on that. Once you will click here, uh, the screen will come like this. Okay. You can see we have option of the create bucket. So click on that. Once you will click on the S3 bucket, you have to give the S3 bucket name and make sure it should be unique. Okay, so I am giving sales report project or something like this. Okay, after that AWS reason, I am going to create in a North Virginia reason. Okay and um, by default the other access like block all public access and other thing will be as it is i am not doing versioning at all and also the encryption and all i am not doing i am going with the by default setting as of now click on the create bucket once you will click on this create bucket the bucket will get created okay this is report project is getting created now click on this now let's try to upload a file. Click on this upload button. Once you will click here, you can see we have option of the add files. Click on this add files. Once you will click that, we are going to upload this particular file. So this file is the superstore file. And after that, you have to click on this upload button. Once you will click on this upload button, on the top you can see uploading is in progress. Okay. After that, it will get completed. So we have to wait for that. Okay, you can see it, it, is, it is about to start. Okay, so we have to wait for that. Okay, so superstore.csv, this is the file which we are uploading. You can see now upload is succeed. Now our source is now ready. So this is the data factory studio which we have opened. Okay, once you will open, you will, it will look like this. And this is the uh, data factory name we have given. Okay, in the left side, you can see we have option of the home, author, monitor and the manage click on this author button and here only most of the activity you will do you have option of the pipeline you can create a data set you can create a data flow power query and after that we have a monitor option here actually you can monitor your pipeline and all okay and after that we have option of the manage okay so in author option first i will click on this pipeline click here you can see we have option of the new pipeline click on this new pipeline and you can see we have a different kind of the activities. We have a copy activity, data flow activities, the uh, different kind of the best service and all data bricks. Also, you can connect a notebook and all. Okay. So in this practical, what actually we want to do? We want to perform a copy data. You can see we have a, what actually we have to do? We have to drop this copy data. Once you will draw, drag this, you have to give the project name. What actually I have given the project name as a sales. Okay. This is the sales data. After that, you can provide any kind of a description if you want. The timeout, the retry option. If the if it is getting failed, what actually if you want to retry that also you can select here. 
okay you can do a one two three four retry okay and the retry interval also you can select okay after that we have also of the source okay in a source what is our source so here only i was saying first we have to create a data set you can see it is asking for the source data set so what actually we have to do we have to click on this new option once you will click here new what is our source source is amazon s3 right so we have to select this amazon s3 now we are going to create a connection now the data set will ask you like what file it is so our file is in csv format so we will select this delimited text continue okay after that uh, it is we have to create a connection so for connection we have to create a link service right so in a link service click on this new button okay the name is amazon s3 whatever you want to give you can give after that it will ask you for the M access key id because you if you want to connect to the amazon s3 location it will ask you for the access key id and the secret access key through that only you will be able to connect so what actually we will do we will go to the our amazon s3 location okay here actually we have to uh, select i am okay in i am click here i am in i am uh, we have to create a user okay and from there only we will get access key and id click on this user click on the add user and giving a username as a sales okay i want a programmatic access because i need that uh, secret access key and id click on the attach policy i am giving an administrator policy click on the next click on the next review click on the create user after that you will able to see the access key id okay so this is the access key id which we have to select and we have to give here access key id and similarly this is the secret access key which we have to copy here and we have to paste in the secret access key okay once you will do this you can see on bottom uh, the test connection is there just click on this test connection it will show you like whether the test connection established successfully or not once it will show like connection successful now your amazon s3 is now connected now click on this create button okay once you will click on this create button now you can give this as a any name this data set name i am giving a s3 data set okay after that you have to select the bucket okay directly you can browse here from here you can see this is the particular uh, bucket we have created in amazon s3 click on this oh, and this is the file which we want to select okay click on this the first row is header so i am clicking on this and click on the okay once you will do this your source will be ready now our source is ready okay there is no any of uh, mark actually it is showing here our data set is ready and everything is now ready similarly you once you will click on this sync for the sync is like uh, what is our destination destination is azure block so for that also we have to create a data set click here what is our uh, destination destination is azure blob storage so click on this and after that click on the continue uh, we want to save as a csv so click on this delimited text continue after that again we have to select the connection okay so for the connection we have to create a link service click on this new button in this new button first you have to select your subscription you have to select your the storage account my storage account is this once you will select that just click on the test connection okay you can see connection is successful for blob storage we do we don't want any type of uh, amazon access key and all we can directly select the storage account and it will the connection will be successful click on the create okay once it will get created now you can see it is asking for the file path where actually we want to store we want to store into this raw container click on the okay first row is header we want to select and okay now our source is ready our sync is also ready okay and uh, these are the options we will see later 
okay now what actually we will do once your source and the sync is ready you have to click on this publish all once you will click on this publish all button click on this publish so that whatever the changes you have done it will get saved okay you can see the publishing is in progress okay so we have to wait for that once it will complete we will see how actually we can run it okay you can see the publish deployment is in progress now it is completed now let us try to run this pipeline you can see we have option of the add trigger click on this add trigger now there is two option one is the trigger now and one uh, if you want to run manually you have to click on this trigger now okay just click on this trigger now button once you will do that your pipeline will start running you can see your pipeline is now running okay so what actually it should do it should be able to transfer your data from amazon s3 to a azure blob storage okay now if you want to monitor the, the pipeline you have to click on this monitor here you can see you have one pipeline one and that is in running and it is succeed also means your pipeline ran successfully now if you want to see your data whether the data got stored into uh, your blob storage or not you have to go to the your uh, blob storage account click on this container once you will click on this container in a row in a row you can see you have a file available previously this file was not there click here and if you want to download you can download this file also and you can review that file okay means our pipeline is running successfully now go to this author button now what actually we have done we ran this pipeline manually right once we will click trigger now button but now suppose if you want to schedule it so click on this new and edit button once you will click this choose trigger click on this new button and here actually we can create some kind of the trigger which will trigger it the type is the schedule we want to schedule you can select uh, the start date time zone also you can select when actually you want to run every 15 minutes hour every day weeks months these are the thing actually you can select okay so every let me give one minute okay so every one minute i will give okay and i will click on this okay so uh, uh, okay once you will do this you have to click on this publish all button once you will publish uh, your pipeline will be running in one one minute okay you can see the publish is in progress and if you want to the first it should uh, complete okay publish is now complete now go to the monitor window and here actually we will monitor okay as of now we have to wait for one minute so that it will start running the pipeline because we have scheduled it and our pipeline should run and it should be able to transmit the data the previously whatever we have run you, you can see the trigger source is the manual trigger okay but now when the pipeline will run it should be a, a automatic trigger okay you can see the trigger is now in progress so our trigger is started you can see trigger by the trigger one it is running through a scheduler okay so like this actually you can schedule your pipeline also now it is successful and uh, i hope if you go to the blob storage account uh, it actually override your data okay so but uh, your pipeline is running successfully okay so thank you